How you doing? Frank Valvey here, and I'm going to show you how to do, deploy a Kubernetes cluster in the Azure portal. Uh, I just have this slide up here just to show you that um, this is the master node there in the Kubernetes cluster, and Microsoft have taken out all the complexity out of it by putting in, making it just making it easier to deploy it on the, the Azure portal. So we'll just go out of this and we'll go into the portal. And there's a few different ways you can start this. I normally go in here, create a resource, or you can go up here and search. And I'll just click on that one. So you can either scroll down here on the page and you'll see Kubernetes service there, um, AKA Azure Kubernetes service, or you can type up in the top here and you'll see it coming up on the list there. So we'll just click into it here and hit on create. And there we're on this page. A lot of the setup for like VMs and things like that, they all have a similar page. And if you're unsure what different things are, you can just hover over this little mark here and it'll give you a kind of brief introduction to it. So this is my pay as you go subscription. If you've got all the ones, you can hit on the drop down there and it'll give you. So the next one, we're going to go to the resource groups, a group. This is kind of like where you have all your resources that you share your permissions and policies across. So you can create a new one, or if you have an existing, I have one here called Azure Byte. So we'll click on that one and we'll move on down to the next one there. So we have to give this name, globally unique name. So I'll still use the Azure Bytes there. That's what I use for my demonstrations. So as you see over on the end there, we got the green correct mark. So that's where we're good to go. And next down to the region there, it's already defaulted to Northern Europe, but you can pick your own one there, hit the drop down, move to wherever. But I'm in Ireland, so I'm going to pick on Northern Europe. And by default, it's given us three zones availability zones there. So we're going to go with the default. And the version there, if you've got something already designed in a different version, you can pick it from there. The drop down is giving you all the different versions of Kubernetes. So we're just going to go with the default for this demonstration. So down to the node size there, it's giving us a default one here, standard DS2. So if you wanted to change it for something bigger, click in here, you can see all your VM sizes, how much memory, scroll over to the end here, and it'll give you the pricing. And all the different ones that are supported. So we're just gonna go with the default for the, this one. And next we go to Node pools. So you can see it's already after picking out the three node counts there already that we have here. And there's our VM size and our availabilities. They were all kind of set up already in the other page. So next one, we go down to authentication. So on this page here, as you can see, it gives us defaults. So this one here now has role-based access control enabled and Active Directory is disabled. So we'll just go with the default for that. Like the role-based one here is like your, your admin or whoever you want to take control of the, the Kubernetes cluster. 
So next one, default encryption at rest is set by default, which is very important. So next we'll go over to the networking. Scroll down the page there now. So as you can see, it's after picking out the name there, the Azure Bytes SRD DNS and load balancer set as standard. So we we'll leave that as default. And you can enable whichever of these you want. So for the demonstration, we're just going to go with the defaults for now. So this one here is the tags. This is not actually part of Kubernetes now, but it's just um, Microsoft gives you these in Azure so you can use them for building purposes or tracking or, so we'll just leave them blank for now. So we're just going to hit on create and review. And if there's anything wrong, it'll tell you up here on the top if everything, if we get a green correction mark, we know we're good to go. So we'll give it a second and final, there we go, validation pass. So we're good to go. So we just hit on create down here. And this takes about five minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video and um, we'll come back to it when it's deployed. So the deployment is complete, you can see here. So now we're just going to go to the resource. Click on here. So you can see there now all the node pools. There's our service, all our networking, Northern Europe. So you can see on the over on the left there all the resources. So if I just go home out of this, and I can see here, look, this is our Kubernetes cluster here. You can see the symbol for we can click in here. We get back into the, this part here. And you see. Like we don't have anything in here now yet, only to, this shows us all the different parts of it. So your networking configuration, your pools, your nodes, key insights from monitoring, all that stuff. Like So that's how to deploy a Kubernetes cluster in the Azure portal. Thank you for watching.